Shannon with Shannon's Crafty DIYs. Welcome to my channel. Today I have a collective haul. So I have a Dollarama, I have a Dollar Tree, and I just have one thing to share with you from Shoppers Drug Mart and I'll explain it to you when I show it to you why I got it. Anyway, I'll show that at the very end of the video. So it is a little mix match of things. There's a lot of back to school items that I've seen, uh, new name brands that I'm, or I don't even know if they're name brands, but you guys would probably tell me. Uh, I have some Halloween things and some more fall items from the Dollar Tree and a couple little fashion items as well. So like I said, it's a mix match of a whole bunch of things. So let's just jump right in to the haul. Let's start with the Dollar Tree. And uh, okay, so I'm going to just start with just like the miscellaneous. I mean, it's all all miscellaneous all the time usually it's just for what I like and what I personally like to buy and also the things that I can use in some of my DIYs as well uh, so this I just found these ones the clear stamps just the summer vibe ones uh, you get the travel the sunglasses ice cream cones um, I just like the flip-flops as well so yeah, I've never tried those. Have you guys tried these? Um, so they are clear stamps. So yeah, and you get how many pieces? 12 pieces. So I got that. And then just, uh, I'm not sure why I got them. I think I was just thinking of a DIY, but I'm not sure how I'm gonna put them in. You'll see in just a second. They are by Jot, 80 pieces of the push pins. I like that they were pink and blue. Again, it is back to school too. So these are really good for uh, students with their cork boards, whatnot. Um, but I was also thinking about using the, these to frame some signs or something as well. So I will see what I do with those in the end. If anything, I can always just give them to some people that I know that are in school as well. <laughs> Got that. And okay, this is like the name brands or new to me at the Dollar Tree. So yes, kind of like a little segue, we're going to go just into the school supplies right now. And I just think these are so absolutely stinking cute for school. If I was still in school right now, I would buy these in a heartbeat. Again, I'm not in school and I bought them in a heartbeat because they are so freaking cute. Um, I am also, the reason I bought the whole set for these, again, I'm sorry, I'm not showing you just yet, um, but I am going to be doing a future giveaway and I'm not talking about late future. I'm talking about in the next few, um, few videos. So stay tuned for my next big giveaway. Okay. So Remy Rose. Have you guys heard of Remy Rose? Check out the packaging for these. Check this out. These paper clips, you get five pom-pom. They are rose gold. Super, super cute. You could take these apart also for a DIY. Use those pom-poms and something else. Check out these paper clips. What is going on, Dollar Tree? What? They're little roses. I think those are so stunning. How many? So you get 10 pieces in there. Love that. Oh my gosh. This one, these are the 60 sheet per tab um, sticky notes. Look at that. Now I'm, I, I will do, um, you guys have just seen my walkthrough video. They had all these plus some other things. They also have like portfolio pictures. They have little pencil cases like this. So all the same brand. These are so cute. Last one by the same company, Remy Rose. Again, there are there is a ton more of items at the Dollar Tree. Um, like I said, watch my shop with me video. Yes, lots. This one is going to be for me. I'm going to choose a couple of these items to give away in the giveaway. So this one, I love this to like organize my files and stuff. So this is the jumbo paper clips. You get, how many do you get? You get eight. And this is the rose gold. They did have them in just gold as well. And there's another company. I don't know. I can't remember what it's called, but it's a, the packaging is all black, but very similar to this company as well. Oh my gosh, guys. <laughs> So yes, new stuff coming in the Dollar Tree for the school supplies. 
And so I got this too as well. It's by Jot, uh, the magnet uh, list. It's called List Pad, but I call it a notepad. There's 60 sheets and I love my notepads. I use them all the time. I don't care. I have my cell phone. I can use my uh, notepad in my cell phone, but I like to see a physical copy and then I can just check mark it off. And I know you can do that in your app, your um, note app as well on, um, I have an iPhone. I know you could do that, but I'm just so old school. I, you know, was born in the 80s. So I still write things down. Look at how cute this notebook, uh, notepad is with the watermelons. Oh my gosh. Yes. I love that. I saw another one that had just a pineapple, but it was the outline of the pineapple it only had like a few lines in the center. I like this one where we have the full paper to write on, but yeah, I love the little lemons. So cute. <laughs> Just a couple little food items. I just, well, if you, it's not really exciting for you guys, I don't think, but I just got more of those bare bone uh, T R E A T S's. He's chewing a bone currently right now. I don't know if you guys can hear that in the background. So he's close. I'm at least, you know, if I hear anything bad, I can always keep an eye on him. But these are amazing. He loves them. They are the perfect size. Um, I thought there was, yeah, like this pretty much is the actual size of it. So yeah, we, he loves these. I only got the two of them. Great to take camping because you just got the whole package. Even though they're that size and they're really small for Jackson, we still just break them in half anyway, just to make them go a little bit further. Yeah, got those. And then, okay, then I'm going to get into the fall and Halloween stuff at the very end of the Dollar Tree. So I picked up these guys. I just love um, the fashion. I don't wear them often. I do have a couple more sets, so I will probably put them on again. I have the French fanny here, but I just thought these were so cute. I'm really digging on the cheetah print right now, the animal print. So yeah, I got that. You guys know I have the glue as well. So I'm going to do another, Not I won't do another nail video for you guys, but like next time I do a haul, you'll see me like with sporting my nails on. So yeah, I got that. So with the leopard print, check this out guys like their accessory hair accessories are so cute you guys know i love my um other headbands that i have too but check this out um they are like those little zip tags like i have to use some scissors to take those off but um yeah i just think that is so cute and with like my blonde hair i don't know I, once i get my 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 hair curled or something i don't tend to like it with my hair i don't like headbands necessarily with my hair straight again it's my own thing right but yeah or even that like you know it's just i think it's just so cute i just love it i love it love it love it okay guys am i looking too young with this or is it look okay <laughs> anyway i love it so hopefully you guys too <laughs> um okay so that is it for the fashion or the accessories at the dollar tree now let's get into the fun halloween items so very new to me, but I did want to pick them up. Um, actually, I'm going to show you these ones. Again, I don't feel, you guys know, like us Canadians were like a year behind with the States. So what they got last year, we are now getting them this year. Does that make sense? So I don't think I ever saw these last year at the Dollar Tree, but they're super cute. They, oh my gosh, I didn't even, I didn't even realize this either. They glow in the dark. I'm not keeping like keeping like keeping them like this. Woo! <laughs> Verbal diarrhea. Um, I'm not keeping them like this. I will probably spray paint them. I have an idea in mind, but they are four piece. It's the Crafters Square, the Halloween picks, the little bats. Those are so adorable. I almost want to see. Maybe I'll if I if I will think of it. I'll put these in the light right now and take a picture of what they look like if they actually glow. So yeah, if you don't see a video or a photo sorry but i'm gonna try and remember to record or take a picture of this when they glow in the dark so yeah got that and then okay this was definitely new to me but i'm not using them for this purpose but i thought they were really funny um skeleton tongs so so for your salads or something like that but imagine like if you make a little front porch we usually give out candy on halloween we didn't this past year because of covid um we just didn't want to waste our money on candy if we didn't know if a lot of kids were going to be going around um 
Anyway, but they're super cute, but you can also like just put these in the dirt in your front porch and look like they're coming up through the ground. Um, you can also put them in like a little planter pot as well. You can really get creative with these. You can paint them black, but again, this looks more realistic when they are the white skeleton, the white bone look. So yeah, I've got that. And this is new to me. I am digging the fall... Um, uh, decor right now and I bought those fall in love or hello love or hello fall love I bought you know the wine the plastic wine glasses that I bought um anyway I found one for Halloween because I probably I'm a, I'm a theme girl right so if it's fall Thanksgiving I'll use those fall in love fall ones and then um for Halloween I found this one get your witch on <laughs> check that out I think it's so cute now, I did get to the cash and I was like, I don't care. It's not a, I mean, it's, it is a kind of a big deal, but I didn't like then It's whatever. It's for $1.25. It's not that big of a deal, but I did notice at the seam, it kind of like bends in here a little bit. So you can even feel it bending in on the inside, but that is just where the seam of the glass is. But honestly, you can't, you, yeah, you kind of see a little bit right there, but you can't really, really tell. And it's just going to be me drinking it, but I think that's so cute. <laughs> Get your witch on. <laughs> All right, so fall items, okay? This is super, super exciting. I saw this really cute tin. I am still on the hunt for some of these other gingham tins that are in the States right now. We haven't got them in Canada yet, but I thought this one was still stunning as well. Happy fall, the pumpkin with the wagon. Um, and look at this, guys. You have the bicycle on the other side. I have pictures of the bicycle for the spring, summer, like the with a blue bike and pink flowers gorgeous never would have thought to do a fall bike so yeah I think that is so cute and it does sort of look gingham as well with the back uh backsplash as well so I really like the handle the orange yeah and I like this orange where it's not like that pumpkin orange it is a more rustic orange as well so I love that <laughs> And then I picked up some ribbon. I think this was from last year, but I thought that was super cute. The orange uh, zigzag pattern. Again, you do get uh, nine feet. So yeah, there was only two in the store. I only bought one. I always buy more than I think with ribbon and I never use it all. So I just got one. And okay, so I got picked up one of these because I thought they were really cute. And I was actually thinking not to drink out of it, um, but to put it on my tear tray with maybe some flowers or some straws in there as well. But pumpkin spice and everything nice. Now, they have other mugs right now for the fall. You have to pay attention because these ones are very small. These ones, I don't even, t I don't even think it tells you. It, oh yeah, so it does tell you 12.4 ounces. Um, the other one I'm guessing was at least 15, 16 ounces. Like you definitely get way more. I don't have the other one because I only bought this one because I wanted it again for the theme of my tear tray. Um, but yeah, and how cute would these be too? I mean, you don't even have to use them for your tear tray. You can actually put these in a little gift basket for your friend. If you have a friend that's birthday is in the fall, give them a little Starbucks gift card or something. I think that'd be so so sweet yeah so yeah i got that and all right so guys these so this is what i meant by how we are a, a year behind because these came out in the states last year and now they are coming out now this year here so this pattern i'm gonna show you so i got the drying mat guys i was waiting since last year for this one because it's got the pumpkins how cute is that and you can make a nice little uh pillow with that they do have they finally did come out with the dish set you know though when i saw them in person they were still freaking cute but did i really want a whole set like four big plates four little plates you know four bowls four cups I was like, no, I think I'm okay. I wanted the mat, the drying mat. And I also picked up a little side plate. I just think this is so darling. Just having the word gather on it with the two pumpkins and the leaves as well. Yeah. So this is just the small side plate. The big plate just had pumpkins. It didn't have the word grateful on it. But yeah, I think it's really, really cute. And it looks so weathered too with the background as well. 
So yeah, I have those, um, you know, those little triangle, uh, trifold um, picture folders. So that would look really good on there. I can just stand it up as well on a tear tray or something. So yeah, I got those. I'm so excited that it came to Canada. <laughs> and uh, okay, so then this, again, new to me and new to the States too, because I've seen people just haul them this year in the States and we got them as well. So I'm super excited to share this with you. So I got the Berry Picks, the Crafter Square Berry Picks. I'm gonna show them all right now. Check this out guys, they're the fall berry picks. So you get this one that has five pieces. There was two other packages with two different colors, one more of a burgundy and another like a darker brown one. So I got that. I picked up the orange 16 piece. I also get these at Christmas too, the red berry ones as well, but these are so cute like that with the orange and a little bit of the red on them as well. So yes, you get 16 pieces in there. And then I got the dark, um, the dark picks as well. So 16. Now pay attention guys, because when you go, they have two packages, very, very similar. They look exactly the same. So at first I was like, oh, and I picked up both of them because I was going to get two packages. And I'm like, wait a second, one has 16 and one has smaller 36 piece. So yeah, just to let you guys know, there's two different sizes. I only picked up the larger in the orange and I only picked up one orange, picked up one small and one large in the dark um, berry picks. So yeah, got those. Guys, Dollarama. It's a little bit smaller, but there's one item that I'm going to show you guys and you will know, understand why I am so excited. So <laughs> I'm going to show you the fun, you know, the basic things that I always get every single time I do a Dollarama haul. I got my uh, mocha frappuccinos. Uh, I got two of them. They're $2.50. Uh, again, Shoppers Now is going up in price as well. They're always $2 or two for five as well. So uh, again, whatever, two for five at the Dollarama. Got those. Guys, I'm so so excited. Finally, you know how Ontario, we were in a lockdown from after Easter till the end of June. And at this lockdown, they actually shut down all the craft supplies, anything that was non-essential, they shut it down. And they were out as soon as we opened again in July, white paint was out of stock until now. So that is, whoa. Guys, I bought three of the Deco Art white acrylic paint. They are each $1.50 at the Dollarama. Dollar Tree now is upping their acrylic paints for $1.50 as well. But I don't like their, I, you know, I've, I've tried them. I don't like the white, very thin. Um, you're right, Sarah. They're not that, um, it's it's not as great as the Dollarama uh, Deco Art paint. So yes, I got three of them. I was like, you know what? I'm not just going to buy one because, you know, right now it's the end of August and Ontario is talking about another possible lockdown once kids go back to school and... Anyway, I'm not going to go into that discussion. We're just all so frustrated. Like, we better not shut down again. But anyway, I'm stocking up just in case. <laughs> and okay, so that is it for the Dollarama. And I bought this one item from the Shoppers Drug Mart. It was on sale, not on sale. It was regular price for $14.99. It's like a Bath and Body Works. But I love, you guys know I have mentioned uh, Mary with Crafty Girl. I also, you probably all know everybody that's from the US, like I love uh, Crafts by Caitlin as well. She just did a huge Dollar General haul and I, guys, I, I you know, as much as I want to stay safe with COVID, I'm like, I just miss Dollar General so much. I miss Target so much. I miss... Oh my gosh, what else did I miss? Like um, five below. Oh, I just miss going to the States just for some just for some shopping. Anyway, she hauled this from the Dollar General. So I'm wondering, is Dollar General and shoppers have similar um, items? But she hauled this and I was so excited to find it. I don't remember how much she paid for it. I'm guessing the candles are there are usually like $8 US, I want to say. Guys, I found it. Oh my gosh, she hauled the same one. I'm pretty sure it was the exact same one. It was the gingham, uh, the orange gingham pattern. It is the pumpkin picking. It's a three wick as well. 
So you get the three wick, just like the Bath and Body Works. Um, however, you know, they're normally $25. You can get them on sale. Sometimes at Christmas, they go down to $11.50. That's the biggest thing where everybody goes and runs and gets the candles. But for $14.99, this is a great. Now, this is my picky self talking here. I don't, I, I'm going to see if I can return it. But if you guys Canadians know, I went on the weekend and bought this and there was the bonus points. If you spend 60 or more, you get 20 times the points. I had to get a few, um, you know, I got some more mascara and stuff. So 60 bucks can add up quite fast. So my bill was actually like $82 when it came down to it. But I'm going to see if I can exchange it without having to affect my points. I think it, I don't think it will. But this is my picky self. Like, see how it's like perfect everywhere else. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And then you come here, like, it's just all wonky. I would be okay if it wasn't like right at the front. If this was like at the back, who cares, right? But it's like literally right there. Anyway, am I being really that picky? I don't know. I just for 15 bucks, it's, it's super cute. If I can't find any more anywhere else, I might go at the end of the week. If I can't find any more, I'll just, I'll keep it. It's still so cute. Like, I don't want to return it if I can't find any more. Yeah. And it smells, honestly, guys. Like it already smells like baked goods and like Thanksgiving and the fall. Like, oh, I can't wait to light this thing up. If I can find the other one, I will exchange it. But yeah. <laughs> okay, guys. That is it for my massive collective haul. We are already at like, wow, this is the biggest haul I've ever done. I hope you guys stuck with me from beginning to end. I would love it if you guys could give me a big thumbs up. Tell me what you guys think of this video. I do post videos every Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. The odd time I'm in a challenge, it will be on a different day. So just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Click the bell button right beside it. You will be notified every time I upload a new video. And just give it a big th thumbs up, like I said. And it just... You know, I just love hearing from you guys and love reading your comments and compliments. I just have so much fun interacting with you guys. So that's it, guys. I hope you guys have a fabulous day and we will see you guys at the next video. Bye. <laughs>